Hey, what's up? This is Anthony with AGT Exotics, and today we're going to be sexing some molts, and we're going to show you how to do it. All right. Let's get... Here's one of my Brachypalma Alba Pelos from Nicaraguas. This is my fourth one I haven't uh, sexed yet. So let's do another time lapse. All right, we got a few molts to check. Uh, first, we're going to um, check on our uh, um, Gramostola poker peas. See if it's a male or a female. Let's see what we got here. So what you want to do is you want to soak it in your uh, slightly warm water with a little teeny bit of soap in it. And uh, the dish soap, what it does is it allows the tea to sink into the water. If you don't do that, they'll just float on top. So this is a fairly small molt here. This is only about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half or so. So there's a good chance it won't be able to see the spermatheca if there is one at all. So we're going to open this up here. You lay the molt facing down uh, with the top up and you uh, spread the legs out and you start to undo the abdomen area. And so what you're looking for is in the middle of the two forward book lungs, that's where the organs will be that we're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna try to focus in with our little USB microscope. This is the tough part here.
There we go. Alright, so now we got it focused in pretty good. And now we're going to start manipulating the area to see if we can get it to show itself. See there's the forward book longs, where the ones on the left hand side of the screen. And uh, the, the organ would be right there, if there is one. If, if it's a male, there will not be anything there at all. So we're kind of looking for, actually I'm not sure what the Grandma Stola Poker Piece looks like, but for the most part it's a, uh, a small pouch with uh, two um, knobs sticking off it for the most part, at least. This is a very, very small specimen, so it will be harder to see as well. It should be right there if there is one. A lot of times what I do is I'll look up the species to see what it should look like, because they do all look slightly different. This one may be a little too small for me to see it. But at a quick glance, I would say it's a male, but I'm not gonna rush the rush it on this one. It still has a long way to go before it's gonna be big enough for it to even matter. And uh, the, small, the smaller the molt, the easier it is to tear it. And as you can see, I already tore the area that we are, the area in question. So, but it should be right here if there is spermatheca, which is the, the pouch area that holds the sperm that the male inserts. All right, so we're gonna say no on that one. We're not sure. So now we're going to toss in our, this is a Avicularia purpurea. This one just molted two days ago. You only have to soak it in the water just for a very short amount of time. It doesn't really take much for it to get juiced up to where you can manipulate it and it won't break or crack or fall apart. If you try to do it dry, it will definitely just start breaking apart. Okay, so you lay it out. Jaws and fangs facing away from you. There we go. Now you want to gently manipulate this area here to unravel and unwrap. A lot of times it gets twisted. There we go. See, this is wrapped up here so we can kind of unravel it a bit. All right. So we've got our area of question all revealed there. So now we will line up our camera. All right. pretty good all right so now we will kind of manipulate the area a bit a lot of times you have to get the organs to roll for you to see them
Okay, I believe this is a female. Um, there's the Ford set of book lungs right there. And right in the center there, there is a little bit of a pouch. And when I pull down here, you'll see these two orange things kind of lift up a little bit. See the, see the orange there? Here, let me try to focus in the camera a little bit better, or maybe turn up the light. Maybe that will help. That other mole was not liking the light at all. This one seems to not mind. All right. So let's see if we can get it to roll and show itself again. Lost, uh, <laughs> which is easy to do with these little uh, USB lenses here or USB microscopes. They um, everything's backwards on there. As I get further away, trying to find it. There we go. All right. See the two orange things sitting there right in the middle? They're kind of facing away from each other. They lift up when I pull this down. Let's see if we can just keep kind of moving it and then it may show itself a little better. Sometimes when it's really wet, it's hard to see as well. With the little beads of uh, uh, air underneath the malt. Re-aim it here. There we go. So I would say female with this one. There's one right there. It's hard to point with these little toothpicks. But there's one right there and one right there. And now I'm going to try to get them to kind of roll around a bit. It's very difficult. So, seeing the organs are so small, I could be mistaken. So, in my notes, I'm going to write suspect female in this one. And this is a avicularia purpurea. All right, now we're gonna toss in our um, our uh, postlitheria rufalata. This one is quite an old molt. It molted maybe a month ago, but it never brought it out of its hide. So we are gonna let that one soak here for a minute or two, not too long. Just, a, just like a minute, not too long. You wanna make sure it gets moist enough that we won't break it when we're manipulating it. This one will be very easy to see. The organs will be very large compared to the first two uh, species that we just looked at. Um, the purpurea is a, a just under two inch. See, it's like just under two inch there. And the uh, Gramostola pulcher peas is just over an inch. This one is, oh gosh, five inches now or so. All right, that's probably good. So start to unravel them. 
it, I should say. Undo the legs. This one's very stiff. there all right so now it's good enough to check out so knock the microscope over okay so we're gonna start to undo the, the mold You can tell what's the inside and outside of the abdomen because uh, the book lungs on the outside you can't really see anything. There's a little uh, lighter's patch there, but on the inside they're white, and it's a membrane that you can you get pretty familiar with really quick. So after doing just a few, you, you get it down on unraveling them. And I use toothpicks to do it. It seems to work for me. I've seen people use dental tools and stuff like that, but I feel they're too sharp. I think toothpicks work great. Now I'm actually hoping this one is a male because I do have a full adult female already. But hey, if it's a female, we won't be mad. We'll just have to buy another roof alata, that's all. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So we pretty much have our area available to see. Usually on this large of a species, you can see with the naked eye, but I'm not able to tell on this one yet. This one's a little zoomed in too good, so let me zoom out a bit. There we go. It was so zoomed in, I couldn't really tell you where I even was on the mole. All right, so I believe I'm in the right area, but we'll be able to tell here shortly. I usually point at it on the mole because I know where it is with my naked eye. I can see that it's right there. And then I can tell by looking at the camera if I'm in the right area or not. And it's this white line right there that goes across. That's where I want to be looking at. So let me adjust this a little bit to get it where I got it fully in view. There we go. And now you can see the, the one lung on the one side and the lung on the other side. These are the forward lungs. Okay, so our area we're looking at is right here. And I am not seeing anything that resembles a little pouch with two little knobs on it. But, sometimes it's not that easy to see. I'm not even seeing a pouch, personally. 
which is a pretty good indicator that it's a male. So the male won't even have the pouch there. We're gonna adjust the focus a bit and the lighting and see what we can see. Just turned up the lighting a bunch, maybe that will help. Okay, now we're perfectly aimed at it. I actually don't even know what a uh, Rufalata is supposed to look like because I never sexed my one that I purchased that was a female when I bought her. But I'm pretty darn sure this is a male, which is pretty good because now I have a breeding pair from different breeders even as well. Very cool. So we'll, we'll still poke around a bit to rule it out as a female though. A lot of times you can pull apart and the pouch will come apart and sh show itself, but we are not seeing anything here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a male. Awesome. Very happy. Woohoo! Alright. Yeah, we're gonna call that one a male. So that's how you uh, sex a molt for a tarantula. And, uh, alright. Pretty cool. Uh, we got a suspect female purpurea, a male rufalata, and no, um, nothing on the Grandma stole the polka piece. That's okay. We have plenty of plenty of molts to uh, check in the future with it. Ah, I totally forgot I had one more to go. My uh, one of my uh, Harpactra polka peas just molted yesterday. This is one that's unsexed. So far, I have a female. So let's check this one out. All right, now we got that opened up. Let's get it focused. There we go. Let's see if we can get it a little more focused. It's probably about as good as we're gonna get. All right, so now we got it in the proper area. And uh, it looks like a female already. See the flap? Oh yeah, 100% a female. Let's see if we can get where you can really see it. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I got two females. Very cool. There we are. So we can get it to roll all the way there. Because I don't think on those other molts we were able to show you what it looks like very good. Even though they all look a little bit different. There we go. See, there's the two pieces. The spermatheca. Oh, 
Awesome. Just trying to get it to flip one more time. There we go. There's both of them. And as I get the multi roll. So that's what the female organ looks like. All right. Awesome. Um, all right. So thanks for checking out my sexing video. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday. And uh, there is the subscribe button. There is a video recommended for you. And there's the AGT Exotics playlist. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.